Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another horror movie night. Tonight I will be reviewing Blood Moon from 1997. Blood Moon stars Gary Daniels, Chuck Jeffries, Darren Shalavi, Nina Repita, Frank Gorshin, Akeem Alstead, Rob Van Dam, Ken Kinsey, and Brandy Rossi. Blood Moon is directed by Tony Lung. Now, this one, I've mentioned before how certain, you know, sci-fi movies or, you know, um, what they're normally considered adventure movies and everything, such as Aliens, Terminator, Jaws, um, or in the, or more in this case, Jaws 2, um, and, uh, Predator, um, all these movies, basically, um, are slasher films, in my opinion, and they, you know, they just have a different take on the slasher, um, and have something unique being the slasher, whereas, you know, Alien and Predator had an alien, um, being, being the stalker killer and everything. And then, um, you know, films like Terminator had, you know, a, a cyborg being the, um, slasher killer and everything. And, and Jaws 2 had a shark, you know. Um, this one, it is very unique because the killer in this film is stalking martial artists. And he will fight them and then kill them. Brutally murder them. Gary Daniels' character of Ken O'Hara is a serial killer expert brought in to help the lead detective, Chuck Baker, played by Chuck Jeffries, of trying to figure out who is killing these uh, famous martial artists that are getting killed in here. Um, one of the martial artists... Um, that gets attacked in here is played by um, WWE, um, Impact Wrestling, and now AEW legend Rob Van Dam. Um, so um, it, it was uh, pretty unique getting to see Rob Van Dam playing the character of Dutch in here. Um, and he gets a really nice little sequence of fighting um, against the killer, played by Darren Shalavi. And Darren Shalavi is such a great um, martial artist. His skills are so impressive that in this film, when he does a kill, you know, uh, an attack on somebody and fight them, fights them, he literally kicks the shit out of them and then finishes them off and kills them. And... Um, he is very impressive in this film. I, I, this film immediately put him on my radar to keep an eye on for future films. Unfortunately, he didn't do much else after this film, but this film definitely showed me that he could have been um, one of the most badass um, future martial arts actors of our uh, time. Um... Chuck Jeffries um, is kind of the comic relief character, and uh, he's good. He's good. It's it's almost he almost, but he kind of almost feels like he's doing a uh, Eddie Murphy kind of thing here, where he's trying to do Axel Foley kind of thing in this. Um, and he's a quite quite an accomplished uh, martial artist himself, so he has some pretty good little fight sequences in here as well. And Frank Gorshin. Um, who played the Riddler in the Batman series. He plays the uh, the Chief, Chief Hutchins. And uh, he, anytime he's on screen, he steals the show. This film, I mean, he, he is getting pissed because, you know, uh, Ken and Chuck cannot um, catch the killer. Um, and, you know, more people keep dropping dead and everything. And... Um, it is such a really unique take on the slasher film. 
that um, it's always stood out to me and uh, been memorable to me for that. Unfortunately, it's memorable for uh, some badly done stunt people as well, particularly in the aforementioned scene with uh, Rob Van Dam as Dutch. Um, Darren, it's apparent that Darren Shalabi does not have a stunt double and he is doing all of his own shit in these fight sequences. The, the man was a total badass. Um, but for whatever freaking reason, um, some of these other fighters um, that end up fighting him have badly done stunt doubles um, doing the sequences, particularly Dutch, um, Rob Van Dam. And you would think as high risk and as crazy as Rob Van Dam got in his career in the WWE and Impact Wrestling and now AEW. Um, and he's not, he's not holding back now, even. You know, he's still going completely crazy and doing off-the-wall stuff, you know, even getting older as a wrestler. Um, but he needed a stunt double in these sequences. And the stunt double is apparent. It is apparent that the stunt double is wearing a real bad wig tied back into a ponytail to try to look like Rob Van Dam. And he does not look anything like him. So anytime they have the cut to the stunt double, it is awful looking. So that's the only drawback to this film, really. Um, most of the fight sequences are so well executed by um, director Tony Lung. He does such a great job um, putting these sequences together and everything. I'm sure um, the experienced martial artists like, you know, Gary Daniels and uh, Darren Shalabi were helpful in the fight choreography for those scenes. But, man, some of those sequences are just so so good. Um, another negative that I will give this film, it really pissed me off that um, um, Gary Daniels' character of Ken O'Hara's, um, his mentor, um, played by um, Ken Kinsey, um, his master, is killed at one point. And his daughter, Kelly, is, you know, introduced um and you you get pretty attached to her and everything and she's she's really good I, i've really liked her on screen and she's she's an accomplished martial artist as well but what pisses me off about this is they they introduce her and then they have darren shalabi's killer go after her and successfully kill her and he fairly kills her in in a fairly easy way and it just it irked me. It irked me because you introduced this character and this character should have been a character that should have, um, I mean, Ken fails to save a lot of these people. And this one should have been one where he should have been able to come to her rescue and help her and save her. But no, she ends up getting killed after all, you know. Um, but yeah, um, this is a really good take on the slasher film, though. And um, most people would not consider this. They'd consider this just a martial arts film and not a slasher. But for me, you know, I I think this is a slasher film just with a killer hunting martial artists, you know. Similar to, like I said, with, with those other um, sci-fi and other action-style films and stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, um, I would give Blood Moon from 1997, I would give this film a 8.5 out of 10. This probably would have been higher had it not been for that, um, like I said, that bad pl plot decision, the killing off of the Kelly Welling character and the bad stunt double for Rob Van Dam. Um, they, they kind of bring the rating down um, slightly. It probably would have been a nine um, or higher had um, 
those discrepancies not been in this film. But anyway, <laughs> what do you think of this film? Have you seen it? Has my review made you want to see it? Let me know in those comments down below. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon because then you can be notified for future videos. All right, that's the end of another horror movie night. Um, join us tomorrow as we debut another feature film. This time, Queen Cobra. Hope you will join us for that one. See you then.